on people, welcome to another episode of The Flex, another vlog. Oi, can I just say, big up to all of you lot who um, enjoyed the, the last vlog and want to see more of it, man. Um, that's what we do. I do. I do know what, yeah, I don't see myself as like a, I don't know, I didn't really see myself as a lifestyle person, like a, a vlogger too much. And I know you might say, Flex, that's weird, like you're always doing United games, of course you're a vlogger, but I'm talking about like my day-to-day -day stuff. So when I, uh, we started this and a lot of you guys said, you wanted to see behind the scenes or you wanted to see like more in the life of me and what Josh gets up to, etc. I was like, cool, like we'll do it, man. So I'm enjoying it, but big up to all the love and all the comments from the last vlog of you lot saying um, how much you enjoyed it really. And cause I enjoyed, I enjoyed making it. I feel like I could just be myself a bit more, not just in the United era, like, you, like do you know what I'm saying? You lot can just see me for who I am. So big up on that. Today, um, look, as I'm filming this, Tottenham just got pammed up. <laughs> Expressions had to hold some. Listen, I said to Expressions long time, yeah. When you need the post traumatic Jose book, stress mm. book, yeah, like we've got it. We've, we've right. read the whole thing. We, like when you need it, like just let us know. We'll give you the book on how to deal with what Jose will do to your team. I've got the flipping, um, the post traumatic Jose manual. I've got it there. It's on my bookshelf. Whenever he needs it, all he has to do is send me his address. I'll send it first class, signed for, recorded. It's not a problem. May it be as good to you as it has been to me. I can feel the power. Yes. Yeah. And he needs it. He needs it now. He needed it from before. Like. I, I watched his match actually yesterday, big up expressions, man. And like, everything he was saying, I almost want to say like, I felt his pain. <laughs> Cause I, like it's all, you know like if you share a traumatic experience with someone, yeah? It's like you can go to like, like a group where they talk about problems or something like, I don't know, like Frank or like- M.A. Uh, Mourinho Anonymous. Right? Yeah, yeah, Mourinho. <laughs> Mourinho, <laughs> Jose Anonymous, yeah? You know what I'm saying? I feel like you could start a group with Jose Anonymous and there could be so many people from that club. You'll have Real Madrid fans in there, you'll have Inter Milan fans, you'll have Chelsea fans, you'll have United, and now you'll have these, man, you'll have Tottenham. Nah, 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 man don't deserve this blood. Man don't deserve this blood. All right, thanks for sharing. And all of us will be shaking and rocking. <laughs> oh shit, I'm on the fucking... <laughs> I'm driving, I'm driving. All of us will just be rocking, going like post traumatic stress, bro. This is what he does. Do you know what I'm saying? You see all the greys in my beard. I've been there. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel that, but I have to say this VAR, I mean, listen, as much as I don't feel for Tottenham to win, yeah, you can't be ruling out goals for that bullshit. Do, do you see it? No, I ain't even. Oh, so, so Lucas Mora, yeah, has been fouled. Yeah, I can't believe you haven't seen it. Lucas Moore has been fouled, yeah, and he's fallen into the ball because from the foul, and then they've kicked the ball onto him to try and clear it, but they've kicked it onto his arm. Sheffield United players, yeah, to try and clear it, but he's hit his arm and gone into Harry Kane's path. They've given handball for him, and Harry Kane went on to go and score. They gave handball. I don't even think the way I'm painting paint the picture even sums up what a misjustice. I can, ima I can imagine it. From <laughs> Jose's post-match. <laughs> Presser. You know the old school one. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. It's better than that. I don't want to speak. I want to say nothing. That if I speak, I won't be on the bench in the next game. I don't want to speak. The referee, do you think that you know he needs more help? The referee? The referee is not here. The referee is in uh, St. George's Park. Uh, the assistant referee is here. I'm like, he's taking the piss. He's like, these men ain't even reffing the games anymore. No he's true, he's right, he's right. But that was funny. Liverpool, listen, they got pammed up 4-0, yeah? Now look, if ever it was, it couldn't have been more evident that these men were fucking doing shots through their eyeballs. Like, when I, some of the things I saw them doing, they were just clearly drunk in it. It's nothing Liverpool fans should be, should care about. It's quite funny, actually. The things I saw, it was, these men got space jammed. It was like, the little <laughs> They put it in the trophy <laughs> in the Champions League. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like, yeah, it's like Jurgen Klopp went right. Uh, everyone hold the Premier League trophy because we got it. And the powers went in the Premier League trophy ready for next season. And these men have turned into fucking 
what are them misfits called from Space Jam? The little monster Monsters. things? The monsters, but without the powers before they get to Charles Barkley <laughs> and, and Muggsy and that. Before they zip, zip the powers from the ballers, they were just some any guys, fam. They looked like some Sunday League team. I saw Trent Alexander take a throw in here <laughs> in his own half and he threw it straight to get Jesus. Like, there was no one there apart from his own players, really, but he made a conscious effort to throw it to Jesus. Mane was tripping over the ball. Robertson was on some breeze. It was it was funny, man. So, yeah, that was that was funny. What have we got coming up again? Uh, we're on our way to Birmingham again. Do our weekly show. Big up you guys been watching United Stand and enjoying that show. We're on our way to that. Um, and what else are we do? What else are we do today, Josh? We're gonna get some food. I'm on, hey, going back to that Tesco. I'm on a diet as well, guys. I say diet. I don't no, like not diet. Yeah, I'm on a healthy, healthy eating. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, healthy lifestyle diet. diet. It's got diet in the yeah, name, fam. Yeah, yeah. It's too hard. Yeah, man. Like, listen. When I say I, t I spoke about rocking and swaying earlier, <laughs> post traumatic Jose. I've got post traumatic sugar because I'm telling you, yeah. Sugar, it's like crack, bro. I I said to myself, you know what it is? I'm not fat, and it's not even because of um, lockdown. Yeah, I'm really opening up on this. I'm talking about my personal issues, my weight and stuff. You know what I mean? This is big for me. I'm joking. Big. I'm <laughs> I'm joking, it's not that deep. Um, no, nah, but honestly, I just want to tone up in it. Like, I, what it is, is I could put on weight, yeah, but I can carry it quite, quite well because, like, I got long arms, long skinny arms, I got long legs, I'm quite tall. So, if I get the little kangaroo pouch, yeah, it kind of looks a bit stretched out. Well, you know what I mean? Well, I won't really go to my face while I look fat. But I know within myself, like, I got a little move thing going on if I take the top off. <laughs> I got the little pouch. And I'm just like, nah, bro, I need to just, I just need to cut out all sugar, like all sweets and chocolate and all them things, and not have no juice drinks and all that, just back water, and just reduce my carbs. Like, I'm a fiend for rice in it. I love rice. Mm. So if I have rice here, yeah, I won't just have like a normal portion. I'll have bear. And after it, I've just got like a pregnant belly Ooh, afterwards. I've got some rice for you. What is it? Gluten, some, like a gluten free rice? It's, it's veggie rice. Veggie rice. I'll show you the tin question. Oh, is it like? Is it like? Oh, I had. Oh, I had one that was. Um, it's like raw rice alternative with protein in it and stuff like that. Less carbs. Is it actually vegetables like chopped up, chopped up into loads of little things? I, I think it was a cauliflower one I had. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, nah. But listen, I hate cauliflower. Yeah, but this, it had like little seasonings in it and that, and it, it tasted alright. It didn't taste like cauliflower. I, think I had a cauliflower pizza once. Oh, not about that. No, look, the base was made from cauliflower, like cauliflower flour. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm on a diet. So I'll be showing you guys um, some of the things I'm eating as well throughout the week. Honestly, I've been so hungry though because I've cut the portion size down. I'm not even. You know what? I've, this is the fifth day when I've only had one bit of sugar. I had one chocolate bar, and that was only yesterday. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, I don't. I'm not actually craving sugar mad. I'm just craving more food, like bigger portions. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll see you guys when we touch. Wherever we touch. Wherever we touch. We're going to Birmingham first. Mildew! Oh, well, not Mildew. Mama no! Uh, 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 fruit and, uh, <laughs> and some water. <laughs> See you then. It's a long queue. Looks like no Mildew today. It's Mark's fault, apparently. He's got a time. He's got a time that he needs to leave uh, the um, studio for because he's busy doing something else. Oh, we've got our first FIFA game today as well. Yeah, shout out the United Stand FIFA team on Pro Club. But anyway, yeah, he's got a certain time um, when he has to leave by, so no meal deal. I have to just do the show running on empty with no nothing. That's what he's got to do, so we'll see. Mama no! Check the ringtone. Is that what you mean? Oh, old school. So I was saying, you thought it was the old school Nokia, innit? Kick, mate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to drop the remix in there right now. Yeah, Tilly totally just setting up. There's lights now, or something. We're gonna make it work. Yeah, we're gonna make it work, or something. Yeah. Yeah. So we're uh, just totally starting the show. It's totally gonna record or something, and uh, we're gonna do stuff here. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's actually rolling. Oh, <laughs> all right, cool. What's happening, people? Welcome to the United Stand. Welcome to another episode of the Premier League show. Me and Mr. Goldbridge. And also, Lampard himself has said plenty of times, my team does not finish off teams. Mm. We're in strong moments where we're, they're, they're all over West Ham in one bit. <laughs> Wait, this is a disaster. Oh, I forgot to go. Goldbridge! <laughs> Yeah.
Done. Good show today, man. Enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. It's good to have different strings to the bow. I bet I'm sitting in darkness here, isn't it? No, it's cold. You actually see me? Oh. Yeah, I'm starving. Couldn't go, obviously, get something to eat before that, but I'm absolutely starving. Proper hungry, man. But I need to stick to this, because now, now I haven't had anything to eat, I feel like just pigging out and getting a big tin at Tesco. Yeah, but you get, I'll do the pigs. Now, I'm just gonna have my egg sandwich. I'll do the pigs. With What's some happening? fruit or something. Maybe a packet of crisps. I'm nah, no, get sure. pineapple, fam. Pineapple, I do love pineapple. Yeah, get the pineapple bites, fam. That's the grapes, key, fam. Grapes, yeah, and yeah. some water and uh, yeah, has pasta water. salad. Too yeah. much carbs. Yeah. <laughs> pasta salad. Yeah, it's a bit too much carbs. But I'm having. No, I'm having. I'm not saying it's got no salad carbs. with it. It's got. Yeah, it's got salad. I'm not saying no. I'm just you reducing know? the carbs. Yeah, yeah there you go. Salad. Pasta salad. Yeah, maybe that one that wasn't there last time. Maybe it'll be there. Hopefully, maybe in life. Just stop. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, right, let's let's hit the road, Josh. Let's go. Road. Got editing to do, mate. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, totally finished and exporting and stuff. What did you say? Um, I'm just trying to look, I'm doing like sound check, man, everything. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> look at all these. This is actually behind the scenes. Here you go. So um we have the uh Sennheiser EK 100 G4, way better than the uh uh EK50 uh G1. Um <laughs> Radio transmitter approximately uh, 16,000 yards, um, transmitting through um, deep uh, struct building and wood, um, also uh, transmitting through glass and perspex, fantastic coverings. Uh, here we have the Sony F5 S6, uh, used for many TVs um, and things, mainly TV programs. It's got a zoom lens of about uh, 65 millimeters um to 24,000 millimeters so a really big range on that very lightweight very sturdy and you can just pack it up fold it up and uh put it into your phone um here we have a remote control um for the television um which works quite far away and uh here we have a this is what we call a lapel mic actually uh with a uh 5.5 um, aluminium um, aux input. <laughs> um, I'll just see how long you can go for. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm trying. Uh, it comes with, uh, complete with crocodile or maybe alligator clip, depending on which you view the reptile. It may be an alligator or Racist. clip. Um, as you see, very, very small mic. This goes up your uh, your top, no matter what you're wearing. Through the top, just like that, and we just clip that onto here, like this. And this usually goes into one of these packs. This looks like a receiver. Is that a receiver? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you'd put that into the top there. So yeah, so you know, feel free. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, reviews on my channel with all the latest gear, and you can find out all about the stuff. You know, you go and find out what's what and what to buy and all of that stuff. So I'm going to be doing a full kit rundown. Here we have the uh, Sony WXP. Um, two uh, one hundred WH one thousands. I say you nearly got that right. I actually did <laughs> chat shit for the half of it because I actually do have these. I thought I would know, but basically, yeah, you can see how all that shit is. Yeah. Basically, this is a lighter. <laughs> it's a big lighter. They make pens, bro. They make, they, bro, their them key selling things are lighters, razors, and pens. Shit, I didn't know that. I thought Bic only done like the ballpoint pens. Yeah, that's like I knew every day. Yeah, Bic, oh, oh, sponsor us, Bic. Yeah, totally. How does Bic that? Put yeah. your lighters up. Lighter, 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 yeah. lighter. You don't have to give us a lot of money, Sorry. just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is a uh, USB. That's not even mine. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, are we done? I'm hungry. Still waiting, still waiting. Yes, mate. I was just thinking, I just want to go back to watching football so bad, like in the stadiums, actually there. I was just watching out of context exp <laughs> expressions from um, in the stadium. They just memed him and that, um, like with the VAR decisions and that, which is funny, but it's just celebrating a goal in the flesh. I got memed yesterday as well. I think when City, when I think it was when Leicester and Chelsea lost in the same day, you know, um, my celebration from PSG, when I was going, yeah! <laughs> Like, I just want that feeling back, bro. Like, I feel like, whatever the first game back is, yeah, it, no disrespect to whoever I'm going to pick. It could be, I don't know. I was going to say Bournemouth, but it probably not going to be in the league next year. <laughs> um, it might be, um, I don't know, whatever, Burnley at home, yeah? And, I don't know, we score a tap-in from two yards and an open goal. I, and if that's the first goal back in the stadium, I'm going to celebrate it like it's PSG. Like, 
I just want to be in the stadium, just go mad at goal. This is just so dead. Like, and you know what? Because I've like been, I haven't not been to Man United game in the flesh for like three and a half years. Thirty years. <laughs> I like. It's been so weird trying to watch the games. Like, I've enjoyed it, but it's just not the same. Like, shouting at my TV, shouting it, and like, that's not me trying to be arrogant or say like, oh, I don't do this watching at home stuff. I just, it's just. I just forgot what it's like to watch Man United, so I just can't wait to get back. Just seen that, I just got an email from the club saying that uh, they've refunded the, tis the ticket for Lask. Yeah, home I, was say, I was gonna say, uh, was it an email going, oh yeah, so uh, we've taken your money for this season and nah, next season. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, the club, listen, the club have been fantastic. They're flipping. They, um, even when we, um, our tickets got refunded um, and our portion of our expenses got re refunded for when we went out to Austria, I remember because the game got cancelled, loads of fans would have booked flights and hotels. The club refunded like three, four hundred pounds. They were brilliant. They've been brilliant through furlough. Like, Matt, big up Man United. Man United have been sick in that. But um, yeah, just even confirmation there that they've refunded the last ticket because obviously that's the home the home leg's not going to happen. But I just, I just want to be in the stadium watching football again with fans. I don't want to eat. So let's go. Yeah, totally. Let's go. Yes, mate. Coronavirus. Oh, yeah. Na, 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 na. Sanitize. Yes. 100%. Um, so, uh, what did we get for lunch then? Listen, it's pissed me off because we've obviously been working um, at the studio. I had to get the video up for three o'clock. It's now six minutes past three. And the queue, you forget with the coronavirus thing, innit? And the social distancing that you have to do in stores. Um, the queue is just going all the way back, man. So, there was no chance. I'm, so I've just come to the petrol station that's just across from there, the Tesco's, and like, it's just, um, they're sold out sandwiches. So I've just had to go, and I'm not ha I'm not gonna do the sweets thing and all that. So I'm gonna have a little bit of these, or a pack of these, which are my favorite crisps, actually. Mm. These Walkers bakes. They are, they are Listen, the best. If they wanna sponsor us, Look, they yeah. are. They, 100% they Walkers, can. holla, Gary Lineker, speak yeah. to your people, oh, yeah, fam. 100%. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Um, actually, I played with uh, Gary Lineker's son at uh, Old Trafford, actually, when we played last year. Was he pitch. sponsored by Walkers? I thought he was, <laughs> so I might, I might speak to him. Um, and yes, yeah, long, and I've, now we've got the United Stand live uh, FIFA match tonight as well. Um, for the Blood Brothers League, so I've got to rush back for that. But hear the joke, and this isn't because of my my Corona body, but they sent me a medium because I asked for a medium. But they must have sent like some extra small, even though it says M for medium. <laughs> extra like, small M. <laughs> <laughs> extra small yeah, it's so an extra small medium. <laughs> it don't fit, bro. A man like Alvin in the in the team is like proper small. So uh, I'm gonna meet him on one of the junctions on the motorway on the way back because um, they sent him a large by accident and if you've seen Alvin in real life no offence Al but you're little and I'm big so um, yeah I've got to link him and then touch in with the guys to um, play our game against Hackney Wick later on on FIFA Pro Clubs so yeah we're going to hit the road man so big up yourself for watching today glad you lot enjoying it let us know again actually someone said just that I should do like a Q&A um, like talking about past jobs and wasn't that technically your first video? Yeah, no, it was, it was, but <laughs> no, that was my second. But I didn't answer everything. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe something like well, that. Well, people, in the comments below, questions. Yeah, actually, yeah, they can just do it in this and we can just answer some of them as we... Well, we should totally we make that a thing. That we always, there's something right in the comments, it's a thing. All right, remember that for next time, people, because we'll think of a thing and it will be a thing. 100% and then we can just do them questions in the car while we're driving or, or whatever that'd be pretty good actually yeah we'll do that um, and then we'll just talk about some stuff so yeah big up yourselves enjoy the vlog and I will see you guys very very soon peace we out of it